Hi guys and welcome to another video. Now as you can tell by the smile on my face, we're talking about something I really, really like. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a little bit of a football kit connoisseur when it comes to uh, to Sunderland kits anyway. I did go through a big phase of collecting all the old Sunderland kits and sadly, although Hummel kits are my favourite kits or some of my favourite kits, I don't actually have any. But that's about to change because Sunderland have announced a new five-year partnership with Hummel. Now if you haven't seen already, they posted a video and everything as well. And I've got a little bit of information about the kits, nothing too uh, concrete or anything like that, but it's a little bit of stuff to look forward to, and I, I cannot wait. But firstly, I will uh, just go through the statement from the club. So Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce a new multi-year partnership with Hummel, rekindling an iconic alliance. First born in 1988, the legendary sportswear brand will become the club's new technical kit partner from July 2024. The multi-million pound agreement, which will run on an initial five-year term, represents one of the largest commercial deals in the club's history. From a late 80s ascension to the first division to an historic 1992 FA Cup sorry, FA Cup run to Wembley Stadium, Hummel's story is woven into the fabric of SAFC's history. The unmistakable chevrons embossed the unforgettable eras of Gabbiadini and Gates and Ball and Bennett, and we are delighted to welcome Hummel back to Wearside. Heritage and innovation will be at the heart of an iconic collaboration which will deliver bespoke playing kits and training wear for our men's, women's and academy teams and to SAFC supporters around the world. Bringing originality and commitment, or sorry, and a commitment to quality, the partnership with, sorry, will provide SAFC fans with access to the widest assortment of high quality technical apparel available. SAFC's chief brand and commercial officer, David Bruce, said, We have been working on this agreement throughout the season and we are delighted to welcome Hummel back to Sunderland. Although multiple global brands rep, sorry, express an interest in SAFC, our ownership group made it clear that an agreement had to be fully bespoke and custom to our club. Hummel shone through from day one, demonstrating an understanding of Sunderland that fully embraces our culture and our future. We are thrilled with the collections planned for this summer and beyond. With further developments to our retail and servicing operations also being finalised, our fans deserve the best and this agreement represents that. It's for our people, our club and our city. CEO Hummel UK, Neil Burke, we are thrilled to announce a long-term partnership with Sunderland AFC. With boundless excitement, we embrace our reunion with Sunderland 30 years after the Chevrons left the iconic kit. Reaffirming our presence in the heart of English football, our return not only underscores the enduring significance of our partnership, but also highlights the pivotal role of the English market in our global strategy. To the passionate supporters of Sunderland, you are the lifeblood of this club and it is an honour to stand by your side once more. Together we forge ahead, unified in our dedication to excellence and the enduring legacy of Sunderland Association Football Club. As the legacy continues, fans can sign up, blah, 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 blah. The club will also like to place on record its gratitude uh, to the sports group and Nike and wish both organisations the very best for their future. So now, before we do specifically talk about the individual kits isolated, um, this is an absolutely fantastic move. It listens to the fans, so as much as the owners and everyone above have got wrong, this is absolutely a fantastic move. Because like it says there, I am sick of being told we're going to get bespoke kits and then we get a bland night kit that's clearly just one you can get from Sports Direct or from JD and it's just got a Sunderland badge planked on it and then it just, you know, hacks up the price on what you can get from somewhere else for, you know, 70% cheaper. So I love that. And it, it again, it shows that they are listening. So I will give them that. They are listening. And a multi-year partnership, I believe it's five years, whatever it was, at minimum, starting off with Hummel, it is a brilliant start to kind of rebuild some form of bridge. I know it's just a kit, but you know when it says the 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 uh, this whole retail side is going to be improved in line with this in tangent with this deal as well. So that would be good to see. But now getting into the kits themselves, what do they look like? Now of course I think it was several months ago I did a video on this. I always get very excited when it comes to the Sunderland kits. I just love Sunderland kits. I know some people don't give a shit, but for me it's my bread and butter. I love um to see what uh they do in terms of like a fashion aspect and what 
in what kind of small sort of minute details have like a, a nod to the club or to the history, certain fittings, stuff, little tiny things like that. I love that in terms of kits. It's just, it's just what I really like. I know I'm a bit of a nerd, but I do. I love it. So, in terms of what we're going to see on the kits, I think the red and white one that we did see in the previous video, from what I can see and what I've gathered from online and some people I do know, not necessarily in the know in the know, but people who do have decent connections, uh, I believe the red and white one that we did see previously, the home kit, is going to be very, very similar to that. Now, we did see before the Leeds game, there was a, a QR code that was uh, put out along uh, Ellen Road, and if you scanned it, uh, it just came up with a sort of a sign-up list to get uh, notified, and it did just say the legacy continues, uh, which is the title we've gone with 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 Hummel at the moment, with uh, sort of advertise and speak about and discuss this this deal with Hummel. Um, and there was a lot of iconic colours in there. They had the sort of the white and the green that we've had before, and we had the uh, the yellow that we've seen before. So it wouldn't surprise me if we did see the red and white sort of. Of course, we're going to see a red and white Sunderland kit with the chevrons on the shoulders and what have you. Uh, but with the away and the third kit, I think we're going to see the white one, and then we're also going to see a yellow one, maybe a yellow and black one, which we have seen in the past as well. Now, when it comes to the badges, this is the big thing for me, and this is what has really, really excited me, right? So again, looking through sort of uh, different conversations with different people on Twitter, I think we're going to get three different kits with three different badges. Now, if you have a look at the end of the video that was actually on, I'm not going to play the whole video, but at the end of the video that was linked with this article, with this statement, right at the end of it, it flashes the current Sunderland badge, a previous Sunderland badge, and an even more sort of uh, sort of uh, retro Sunderland badge, the one that you would usually associate with the... Uh, the, um, the 1973 kit, the FA, FA Cup final one. So, it, to me, it looks like we're going to get those three badges. And the reason I say that is because, again, sources on Twitter, uh, someone who I do know who is marginally in the know or has a little bit of knowledge on the kits coming up, um, essentially said that you can't give away too much. However, um, the three badges it shows at the end is that all I can kind of nod to. We're going to see them all, basically. And when people started to press and ask for questions, essentially confirmed that we're going to get all three badges, which I'll, I'll just give you every fucking penny I've got now, mate. I'll give you every penny I've got for all of them. So it, it's a time to be excited, and I think it is a, it's a nod in the right direction. For all the shit that's come through this season, this is probably the most excited I've been. Do you know what I mean? This is probably the best thing to come out of a pretty shit season, really. Do you know what I mean? I know it I, I know a lot of clubs might just say it could be a lot worse, you could get relegated, or, and it's just a mediocre season, you're just kind of sat in mid-table, so we're not really fighting for anything, which is very strange. As a Sunderland fan, usually you're fighting relegation or fighting for promotion, and at the minute it's it's neither. So at a time that is very sort of meh, we needed an uplift, we need a bit of a boost as a fan base, and I think this is a very good way to start about going. And I know a lot of people might not give a shit, and they say, oh, it's just fan, it's just... It's just sort of lip service, keep us happy for a bit. It costs money for a big deal like this. As it said, it's a big, big money deal. So it's not like they're holding back those at the top um, in terms of what we're trying to look like in the future. And I'm very, very excited to see what these kits look like. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be everything from me, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Tomorrow, of course, we do take on West Brom. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether I'll be able to get a review out on the day. I've got I'm working over the weekend, but in bits and pieces, it's a quite a weird schedule I've got tomorrow. So you might have to wait until Sunday for the review, but we'll have to see. I'll have to let you guys know. But if you've enjoyed, hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, take care. Stay jammy.